What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Feed the Beast Infinity. Oh yeah, so we're changing up the intro. Deal with it. Uh, so today we got some things we need to do. Uh, first of all, Biffa left this chest right over here at our base that says, Not sure if you have these yet, Biffa. And he gave us a cup of tea, <laughs> of course. Uh, Mesa Plateau F Biome, I'm pretty sure I have that one, and Extreme Hills Plus Biome. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have this one too, but thank you Biffa. I will take your tea, and I will drink it as soon as I'm hungry. Because you have to be hungry to drink tea in Minecraft these days. Anyway, guys, so we just updated the server. We're running Feed the Beast Infinity 1.1.0. And everything is pretty much the same. <laughs> we just got some updated mods. Um, I'm not actually sure what all has changed. I know one of the default settings is they turned off the the head chrome heads. So, like, for instance, I guess these guys that dropped off uh, these FTB players that we have running around our pack... Um, I got a bunch of like these blaze heads and a bunch of cow heads and all this stuff Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be getting any more of those unless we change that config option I know some people uh, like that option, so we might put it back on. I don't know So got some stuff in my inventory here bunch of ender pearls. Uh, I would show you this, but I have been told not to <laughs> So you'll probably have to wait for it to come out in somebody else's video and then we'll go check out that stuff um, I do have some things here uh, I was actually looking at this Draconic Evolution mod. Uh, I have about 60 pieces of this Draconium Dust. And I was thinking, you know, people keep saying I should make this chest. We should look into making this today. So, um, yep. <laughs> it's kind of a complicated thing at first. I mean, new new items here we haven't seen before. So in order to make uh, these Draconium ingots, we need to make Draconium Blend. And you make that by one iron and for this draconium dust. And I think I saw that I needed a lot. <laughs> no, wait, how much did I need? Let's go check this out. I see somebody sneaking into my base. Who is it? Who is it? It's Joe. Okay, maybe he's doing his thumbcraft stuff. Um, let's take a look at this real quick. So we need one, two, three, four of those pieces. Whoops. And then we need four more. And then each one of these requires this stuff. And so it's a, I think we need 16. Are these maybe <laughs> I don't know I'm trying to do math and I'm trying to record a video at the same time it just doesn't work rule of thumb never do math on camera anyway actually you know what I'm gonna make eight of those because I think I probably mathed that incorrectly so we'll do eight of those let's go ahead and surround that with the draconic draconium dust I made one too few all right so it said that we could take this and we can put this into an alloy smelter. I assume our redstone furnace would do it just the same, but this goes a little bit faster. So we'll put it in here and this should smelt each one of these into two ingots at a time. So yeah, we get three dust and it turns it into six draconium ingots. Sounds about right. 12 and finally 16. Awesome. Okay, so now we needed to make some other things over here. It said we needed to make a diamond chest. Let's actually look at this recipe again. Uh, so we need to make these obsidian chests, which is actually diamond chests surrounded by obsidian. Do I have obsidian? I know I mined some before. Oh, I do. I got plenty. Okay, so we have that obsidian. We need to make the diamond chest, which is, uh, gold chest. <laughs> oh, dang. That's a lot of stuff. All right, tell you what. Let me make these items up real quick, and we'll be right back. All right, so we got it all made, all ready to go. There we go, there's a draconic chest. Uh, shift, right click with an empty hand to access color options, okay? So I don't know really much about this chest. I know it uses power and that's about it. Let's set it down, let's take a look. Okay, so we got, ooh, this thing takes uh, 1 million RF, got it. Looks like we can put an energy cell in there, so let's go ahead and power that. Uh, we'll stick this little fella right there. Yep, so that'll go ahead and dump some power into this chest. And let's, before we put all that in there, let's just check. If we break this chest, uh, what do I do with my regular pick? Oh, you know what? doesn't matter. Let's just go and break the chest. Uh, I broke that pipe. I was afraid of that. If we break that chest and set it back down, does it still have power? Wrong one. Uh, yes, it retains its power, so that's awesome. Let's go ahead and dump that all the way in there. Come here, this little fella. We need to stick this back <laughs> right over here where I broke it. I also need to wrench that because otherwise it's going to be very, very limited with the amount of flow through it. There we go. Okay. Uh, so this is still filling up. Right. So this is like a furnace. And it can do some cool stuff. So what I heard is if you... 
do the draconium dust in the furnace here. Instead of giving you two pieces, it actually gives you four pieces. So it doubles the doubling. <laughs> so that sounds pretty awesome. Let's give that a go. We'll try one of these real quick. We'll make one dust. Need four of these. Let's go ahead and get that little fella over here. And we'll stick you right there. And sure enough, yeah, we got four of those. So that is really, really awesome. Okay, so that's a way that we can get even more of the draconium ingots. Um, so besides that, <laughs> it's got a little crafting grid in here. It can hold a heck of a lot of stuff. I'm actually not sure how much this is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 26 times 10. Is that 10? I don't know. I'm not counting anymore. We did enough counting there. So it's like over 200 slots. It's crazy. This chest is amazing. So I think we're going to use this chest as like our main input for stuff uh, from our quarry. I think we're going to have like a spot for like dirt and a spot for cobblestone. Uh, everything else I think we're going to dump into this one chest. I don't believe it uses power just to put items in and out. I think it only uses that power... Uh, when you're smelting things. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. I guess we're going to find out here in a little bit, huh? Um, where did I put my RF thing? I guess it's still right there, okay? So it retains that inventory too. That's awesome to know. So we'll go ahead and let that thing fill up. Uh, so what I want to do, I want to go to the quarry age. I want to set up a quarry, but before we can do that, we even need to make ourselves a quarry. So let's go ahead and look at doing that. So we could do the regular build craft quarry, which is super, super slow. I don't think there's any upgrades for that. Or we can do the ender quarry. And this is something that I wanted ender pearls for. So yeah, this is also going to be kind of a, a process to make. We need obsidian and ender pearls, which we now have. Uh, we need eyes of ender. So we have the blaze powder, thanks to DMAX blaze farm. Uh, so water bucket and lava bucket. And I'm not sure what all these other things are. I'm sure it's all pretty much the same thing chiseled quartz okay so we need burnt quartz a lot of diamonds uh some kind of a sapling yeah let me go ahead and craft some stuff up guys and we will be right back my goodness guys that was a heck of a lot of crafting so <laughs> there's our ender quarry yeah we got everything all set here so there we go i got a few more of these ender infused obsidians left um so i've also made ender Flux crystals and I made a QED. So these are a little of the same amount of stuff. I was gonna say it's a little expensive. It's really not. Uh, Obsidian Ender Pearls early game. If you don't have Ender Pearls, sure it's expensive. Um, four diamonds, some burnt quartz. We got this from the Nether already, so that's not too bad. Uh, the quartz, the burnt quartz, is uh, just a block of quartz and you smelt it. Now I had a problem earlier. I took a block of quartz and I smelted it in the alloy smelter over there, which it says it can be smelted in, and actually turn into fused quartz. So I switched them from regular vanilla blocks of quartz to the block of quartz pillar. Anyway, uh, I smelted the pillar blocks and those turned into burnt quartz. So we were all good there. Okay, so the reason why I made the Enderflex crystals, oh, you know what, this is the recipe for those two. More of those Ender infused obsidians and I have Ender. Uh, the reason why I made these guys is because we need to make ourselves uh, these guys right here, the ender markers, these are how you, uh, set up the quarry, the extra utilities quarry, uh, without putting fence posts everywhere. You can put down these markers. I haven't actually ever done this, uh, so I might be incorrect. <laughs> Hopefully not. It looks like I'm actually going to need a little bit more of this ender infused obsidian though, so I should grab some more of these items and make them up. We got plenty more obsidian. We got plenty of ender pearls. Let's go ahead and do this right now while we are at it. Okay, so that goes there. That goes there. I'll make that many. That should get us going. Okay, perfect. So QED. I've, I don't think I've ever actually made one of these. Uh, my understanding is that this thing is almost exactly the same as like the build craft, um, whatever that thing is called. You know, the laser table thing. I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> I honestly don't. Um, so we're going to hook this up and it's going to be a temporary thing because this is not going to stay in our spawn base, but we need a place to actually make this stuff. So let's go ahead and get this going. I believe I can put the lasers like right here. I'm calling them lasers. They're not actually lasers, but they might be lasers, but they're not lasers. Anyway, uh, we need some more pipes. 
Do, do, do. Actually, I think... You know, I'm just gonna steal these pipes for now since we don't need this power. Actually, I could just use this power right here, right? Um, I'm trying to think of what the best way. I think we're just gonna place pipes right like that. We're gonna wrench these guys and give them like the highest limit. Just like that. Steal one of these wooden pipes, we need that. Right here. Let's take this guy. And I believe it's configured for the bottom. Okay. I don't see these connecting. Uh, maybe we have to power this guy. Honestly, I don't know how this thing works. Uh, tell you what, let me figure this out and we'll be right back, guys. Uh-oh. Something's happening. Does that not take power? Is it? This isn't being powered. Maybe this doesn't take power at all. Okay, I'm a derp. <laughs> I figured this was going to take RF power just like it does in build craft. Apparently it doesn't. It's just going. It's doing its thing. It is crafting along right here. Uh-huh. All right. Yeah, I was expecting to have to get that little bit of power. We see some crazy ender stuff shooting out of it. All of that fun stuff. Nope. Like I said, I haven't actually used a QED before. Anything that I ever needed that for, I believe other people on the server have just given it to me. So I wasn't sure on how that actually works. Now we know. It looks like it's a pretty simple process. Alright, we're all done here. Okay, so there's one ender marker. I need to do this a few more times, so let's go ahead get this going. Uh, obviously, it'll take a little bit of time to process. I assume I need three more of those. We'll find out. So yeah, let me go ahead and do this, guys, and we'll be back. Alright guys, so the scariest thing just happened. <laughs> I came through the portal here for the mining age, and as soon as I came through I was being attacked by a zombie. Some kind of a special zombie set me on fire or whatever. Maybe it started burning in the sunlight, I don't know. But yeah, I got down to like half a heart finally before that went away. I was able to kill him, but yeah, I lagged a little bit. Anyway, we didn't die, we killed our zombie. We're all good. <laughs> okay, so I got everything made up that I think we're gonna need. Uh, we got some better barrels for cobblestone storage. We got a draconic chest for ore and other stuff storage. We got a quarry, we got our ender markers, and we have a hardened energy cell for power for now. We're gonna have to figure out better power stuff. And we also have some transfer pipes and stuff like that to get um, our cobblestone where it needs to go. All right, I think we got everything set up. So now the first thing we need to do is actually figure out where we are going to put our quarry. I don't think anybody else has made it into this age yet. I don't see anything around that looks like something that people have done. Okay, so I think we'll just go ahead and set up our quarry over here. Now the problem is with these uh, ender quarries is they turn everything to dirt. And since everything is mycelium around here, it's going to be pretty hard to tell uh, where people have mined. I don't know how we're going to figure that out. Maybe... We will put torches down or mark out things with torches. I don't know. We'll have to figure out something. <laughs> maybe, um, let's see, which which way is the exit? Yeah, maybe if we have mushrooms that are all dirt, that'll give it away. I bet that's, that's probably what we're going to end up doing. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this stuff set down. I've never used these ender markers. I don't think I've ever used the ender quarry. No, I have used the ender quarry. How do these work? Do you just right click them? Does it have to be like... Oh, okay, so now they see each other. I see. Okay, so that's how these guys work. Yep, that makes sense. Okay, so I think you can set these up as big as you want. Uh, we don't need to go super big right now. So what are we at? We are at 54? Yeah, 54. Let's go over to, oh, I don't know. 104? Sure, that's like a 50 by 50. That should be good. Uh, is it right here? Yeah, that looks like that's in line. Okay, so this direction we are at 30, so we will go over to 80. Let's try and stay along the same axis. And right here. Aha. So now we just need to complete the box, put down one more of these things. I assume we have to actually make a full square. I don't know for certain. There's our other marker over here. Okay, we're gonna line up with this one and that one. Right there. I think I'm off by one. 
Okay, so where is our other marker? I can't tell if that... Maybe it's got to be right here? Hmm. <laughs> okay. So instead of just kind of guessing that mushroom's in the way, it's making this difficult. So that's at 54. Oh, you know what? I believe it's right there. Yeah, there we go. We can see the particles going on both directions. Yeah, I think that should be set up correctly. Okay, so now that that's going, I believe we just sit down the ender quarry, right? Does it have to be right next to the one of these? Maybe, and we right click it. Okay, successfully established boundary. That sounds good. Uh, so we're gonna put our chest probably right on top. Um, let's do, is it F9 that shows the chunk borders? Ooh, okay, so this is inside of this chunk. So the way these work, yeah, it's right on the chunk edge, actually. The way these things work is they keep the chunk loaded that they're in and whatever chunk they're working on. So it's self-chunk loading. So as long as they keep things within this little section right here that's got the green outline, this should always be chunk loaded. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to set up some of these better barrels this way. Uh, I don't know if we need that many, but we are going to attempt to just pull out cobblestone. So we're going to do that. Oop, that's already pulling stuff out. <laughs> Let's break this. Uh, break that. All right, so I got that all figured out. Um, so the way this is going to work is the Ender Quarry is going to put all of its resources into our Draconic Chest. Uh, we have this transfer node pulling items out, but all of these barrels are only accepting cobblestone. So I believe that should only allow cobblestone. Maybe I have to set a filter here. How does... Oh, you know, I might have to do that. I don't know how this is going to work, actually. I think we'll figure that out. This might not work without a filter or something. Okay, but first of all, let's just go ahead and set down our hardened energy cell. So that should get everything powered, I do believe. Uh, so we need to put orange to that side. Is it going? It might be going. It's going. Okay, so we have cobblestone coming in here. Hmm. Yeah, I think that is not going to work. Okay, so we need to make an upgrade for our transfer node. So this is going to be fine by itself for right now. This is just going to continue to do its thing. Do we know where this thing is going from? Aha. So, oh, okay. So this is how we're going to know. It's going to turn the mycelium to grass. So that's how we will know that it's already mined there. Got it. Okay, so let us go back to the overworld. I'm going to try and find an upgrade for this thing. So it should only pull out cobblestone, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I've seen upgrades for these things. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of different types. Speed, item filter, here we go. Yeah, this is what we need. Okay, so let me make one of these, and we'll be right back, guys. Right, so we got a couple of problems here. Uh, first things first, let's go ahead and give this a try. So we're going to put the item filter in cobblestone. If you right-click on this thing, you can set a filter, so we have cobblestone there. So we need to put this guy right there. Let's get the ender pearls out of there. So now cobblestone is the only thing that should be coming through. And yes, now that it's filling up, perfect. That's what we want. Uh, we also have a stack upgrade that I made. So that should pull out 64 at a time. And that should go into the barrel stacks at a time. Yep. Okay, so that is good. That takes care of our cobblestone problem. Uh, we've got a decent amount of stuff in that short amount of time. That's not bad. Problem is... We're out of power now. <laughs> so we got to figure out what we're going to do for power. Wow. Okay, so we got a decent amount of stuff. We got 7, 10, 4 copper, 14 iron, uh, a couple of yellow rights, some certus quartz. Yeah, that is not bad, but all of that for 200,000 R. Is that 2 million? 2 million RF? Hmm. Okay, so I think what we're going to end up doing, I think we are going to make some ender pearl generators or whatever those are called ender generators these guys ender generators these are supposed to be very efficient um can i look at the tool tip for these no maybe not oh wait no i gotta click this tab yeah it says uh generates rf using ender pearls eyes of ender and ender lily seeds very efficient so we have a way already to get some ender pearls so i'm gonna go collect a bunch of those i'm gonna make a bunch of these ender generators i'm not sure how many we need uh, probably gonna make, hey cow, <laughs> I might even make one of these times eight ones just so we have eight of those in one block. We will see. 
Uh, each one of these does require an iron block, so I don't know how we're doing on iron. All this other stuff we're going to have plenty of. So let me go ahead and figure out our power situation, and we'll be right back. All right, guys. So I think we got everything situated here. So what we got is a ender generator, power multiplier times eight. So I made eight of those ender generators, and then I put them into one block. Took a little bit of time, and we had to make the uh, power node or whatever with the QED, and it required a bunch of crafting, just kind of boring stuff. So I didn't decide, or I decided not to show that. Uh, so we need to put a block there. And we got some ender pearls right here that we're going to use to feed into this thing. So we'll go ahead and set that down. We got 25 stacks. It should last for a little while. I probably will need to go... Oops. Uh, is that hammer going to break things? You know what? I'm just going to punch this cobblestone. <laughs> I don't want it to break too many things. Um, yeah, I probably will have to go and farm a little bit more ender pearls to keep this going. But that should get us a good portion of the way for now. Okay, so we should just be able to put this guy right there. I don't think that's going to go anywhere else except for this generator. I think we should be fine. It won't go into the chest. Let's go ahead and sort this, see what we got here. Okay, so now we got stuff going into the chest. Um, the generator should be powering this energy cell, which it is, and the energy cell is just dumping that power directly over into the ender quarry. Um, if we do end up finishing our quarry before <laughs> this runs out of ender pearls, um, yeah, it'll fill up this energy cell. I don't think that's going to happen. I'm not sure how quickly this is going. Let's actually look at the generator interface itself. Okay, so it's going down. Oh, so we only get about five seconds per ender pearl, and I'm creating just under 400 RF a tick from that. So if we watch that, <laughs> like every four seconds, that's probably going to go down one yeah that's gonna last us for a little bit not super long uh but we will be able to collect a bunch of resources this way we're definitely gonna have to figure out a better power source than this we might look into big reactors or something for next time uh this definitely won't last for forever <laughs> but this is definitely a good way to collect our resources in one place without having to set up a bunch of barrels uh, we could even smelt these right on the spot here i do believe this does du or doubling too at the same time so I just did five at once and I doubled it so yeah turn six of those into 12 copper yeah that's pretty awesome okay so I think I'm gonna let this run like I said I'm gonna farm some more ender pearls I'm gonna try and get as much resources done as possible um, oh yeah that's right cuz it's gonna do one chunk at a time I think we will have to check out big reactors and we will most likely do the next episode to get a bunch more power to keep this going. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on this episode if you did like it. And we'll see you next time.